Hey guys, it's Casey. I wanted to give you um, a couple of tips because I have a lot of people coming to me asking, is it okay to fast if this is going on? When should I not fast? Yada, yada. So I figured why not make a video about when not to fast? Because there are definitely times in life when you'd, it would be better for you to not fast. So first of all, if you are pregnant, you need to not do any extended fasts. You can do intermittent fasting. That would be fine. But you are developing a baby and you need to have all the nutrients and the support of that. And again, you want to shorten your food window. You don't want to just be eating for 13 or 14 hours a day. So try to keep it within a nine hour window or under. But in terms of keeping your hormones from going crazy, which they're already going to be changing because of all the changes in your body, you want to just be mindful of that and do intermittent fasting. If you are on your menstrual cycle, do not do an extended fast. The reason for this is your body is already in a cleansing mode and when you fast, it disrupts hormones and it changes things and you'll likely cease your period. And that's not good because your body is trying to cleanse it um, as it should naturally and so you just disrupted the process by adding too much added stress and your body thought, well, I don't need to be dealing this right now because I don't even know when I'm going to get fed again. Okay, so that's the second reason. Um, another reason is don't fast during a once a lifetime event. I feel like I shouldn't even have to say this, but if you're going to somebody's wedding, it's one time in their life, hopefully that they get married, be a part of it. Don't be the weird person off in the side being like, well, I'm fasting today. I mean, unless you have like a disease, if you have like a known disease, like everybody there at the party knows you have cancer or something that you're trying to get rid of, that's fine. Otherwise just be cordial. You don't have to eat a lot and you don't have to eat crappy. Choose good foods that are, op you know, available and let that be it. Um, same thing with like milestone birthday parties. If you go to somebody's 50th or somebody's first birthday or whatever, you know, be a part of the birthday. Don't be the one that causes a scene because you're fasting. It shouldn't be about you. The party's not about you. So don't make it about you. Um, the other time is if you're under extreme stress, I would recommend to do OMAD or intermittent fasting because doing an extended fast on top of an already stressed body is going to increase hair loss. It's going to increase your, um, inability to control your emotions, whether it's anger or crying or whatever response your body may get when you're freaking stressed out, you need to allow your body to go. I, I'm already uh, recognized you're under a lot of stress and do things other, uh, you know, other things to help counter that stress doing, um, you know, breathing practice, doing stretching, yoga, going for a walk, um, listening to peaceful music, going out in nature, getting your feet bare and standing, you know, on the earth, all those things will help reduce your stress, but pair that with intermittent fasting or OMAD. Don't try to do an extended fast. If you're crazy stressed out, there will be a time in your life that comes that you're not under a lot of stress. And that's when you can focus and plan for that extended fast and really get a lot of benefit from it. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any other questions about if it's okay to fast at this time, or, Oh, let me add in breastfeeding. Cause I know a lot of people ask about that. You have to do intermittent fasting while your breastfeed or your milk will dry up. I have had some moms try it out and unfortunately some of them push too far and they end up having their milk supply dry up by doing too long a fast like 24s and whatnot. So you unfortunately while you're breastfeeding, but the thing is you guys, if you're breastfeeding and you're exercising and you're not eating like a lot and you're eating smart foods, you should be losing weight because you can lose weight fast breastfeeding. So eat nutritious, take care of your baby and wait for that extended fast until you're done breastfeeding. Have an awesome day.